Well, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing uh, in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, advice, and I want to tell a rather fanciful story with respect to the death of Rabbi Moshe Liv of Sasov. A fanciful tale, but it shows, I think, great insight into Rebbe Moshe Lieb. As he was dying, Rebbe Moshe Lieb was saying to himself, now I am free from fulfilling the mitzvahs, the commandments. Commandments can only be done when you're alive. I'm free from fulfilling the commandments. What can I do now that will be in obedience to the will of the Creator, to the will of God? He thought for a while, and he, think, and he thinks, I must surely, it must surely be God's will that I be punished for my countless sins. And immediately, he jumps down into hell, into Gehenna. Heaven was a little perturbed at this move of his, and the, uh, the prince of hell, the guy in charge downstairs, um, begged the tzaddik, begged Rabbi Moshe Liv, to uh, take himself off to 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 to, 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 Shumayim, to heaven. Gehenna, hell was not the place for him. Um, heaven calls downstairs and tells the prince of hell, you got to send Rabbi Moshe Liv uh, up here. He went down, it's a mistake, you got to send him back up. And they said, oh, and by the way, while he's down there, you can't uh, stoke the fires and, uh, and do anything to punish uh, uh, him by being down there. He's, he's not supposed to be there, he's supposed to be with us. The Prince of Hell goes to the Moshe Liv and says, listen, you got to go upstairs. They're calling for you, and I'm not supposed to make things bad here. Uh, while you're down, and it doesn't do to give everybody in Gehenna a holiday just because you uh, you show up on your own accord. As the story goes, Rabbi Moshe Lieb says, if that is the case, I won't budge from this place until all the souls down here in Gehenna are allowed to go with me. On earth, I made it my business to ransom prisoners and so I certainly will not this, uh, allow this crowd to suffer while they're downstairs here in this prison. And it is said that uh, Moshe Liv of Sasov had his way. And even after his death, he was able to, in effect, ransom prisoners, the greatest ransom he was ever uh, allowed uh, to carry out. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.